Italy is on a boot-shaped peninsula in southern Europe along the Mediterranean Sea. It's bordered by France, Slovenia, Austria, and Switzerland, and the Ligurian, Tyrrhenian, Ionian, and Adriatic Seas. Italy also surrounds the independent state of Vatican City and the tiny Republic of San Marino. The city of Rome is in the middle of Italy. Rome is Italy's capital and its largest city. Rome is an ancient city and one of the great symbols of European civilization. From its humble beginnings as a collection of farms along the banks of the Tiber River, the city of Rome grew into one of the world's greatest empires. Rome's golden age was over 2,000 years ago. In 27 BC, Augustus Caesar, the nephew of Julius Caesar, came to power and brought with him the Pax Romana, or Roman peace. The Pax Romana was a 200-year period where Rome wasn't at war with anyone. The Roman Empire thrived during this time and grew as large as it would ever be. It covered an area stretching from modern-day Scotland all the way to modern-day Syria and Armenia. Roman legions protected trade routes on newly built roads. And the Roman fleet ruled the seas. Grain, gold, exotic animals, and other riches flooded into Rome from the foreign lands it had conquered. And Roman citizens moved freely throughout the empire, spreading the Latin language, a common Roman coinage, and their Roman architecture and culture. Ancient Rome was a city of over a million people. That number of people living in one place was unheard of at that time. Roman technology helped the city grow that large. An ingenious system of aqueducts brought fresh water to Rome's people. And a complex sanitation system kept the streets clean and limited the spread of disease, a serious problem in other cities back then. They even had police and fire brigades patrolling the streets. The Romans enjoyed a busy cultural life. Temples, theaters, baths, roads, and public spaces spread throughout the empire. But one of the most important places for the average Roman was the arena and the greatest one was the Colosseum. To keep the people happy, the emperor held spectacular contests there. Some of the contests were battles between gladiators, who were usually trained slaves or prisoners. Other events had men fighting against wild animals shipped to Rome from throughout the empire. The arena could be flooded for sea battles. The games reflected the ideals of the Roman people, the gladiators displayed Roman courage and military strength. The exotic animals showed how far the empire reached. The games proved that Rome and the emperor controlled not only the lives of people, but nature itself. When Rome finally fell to the Goths in AD 476, it took over 1,200 years for another society to reach the level of technical sophistication and luxury of the Romans.